Business World is a very esteemed magazine. You know, I've been reading it for quite some time. So definitely, recognition by Business World is extremely, uh, extremely gratifying. Uh, you know, we've been uh, it's, uh, finance as a team. You know, we generally work in the background. So I think this award, which kind of gives us an opportunity to to think about ourselves and the recognition that we get, is extremely, extremely fulfilling. Okay. Uh, so this is so. My next question is basically about something that has been in discussions a lot. We also had our first panel today on this. I want to understand from you uh, what do you think about the increasing synergies between CFOs and CEOs. C C CFO and CEO are a team. I think I think um, they're like two in a box, right? Uh, they just have different. They have the same same objectives, but different perspectives and different roles to play. A CEO a CFO is like the uh, like the person who has to deliver for the CEO, right? The CEO is focused on the business side, on the external world, while the CFO's role is to manage the various stakeholders like the shareholders, your vendors, your customers, your partners, etc. And he has to get the, the, the vision and the strategies kind of implemented and executed, not only through his team, but also influencing all his peers, the business leaders, and trying to make that happen. So they're kind of two in a box. I think uh, they have to work together, they have to play together. Uh, to, to, to win in the marketplace. Okay. Uh, recently, in the budget, the government has uh, allocated a massive amount on capital expenditure, a hike of 33%, which is huge. Um, now, I want to understand from you, in your opinion, from a growth perspective, what, is, what will be the role of private capital expenditure? Yeah, so the... Uh, I think the hike in the budget on the capex is a is a very welcome step. I think government is trying to push the economy towards you know faster growth. Definitely, the government alone can't do it. The private expenditure will have to catch up. I think the the private capex has lagged behind a little bit because of the pandemic that happened in the in the past, wherein the consumption went down. I think it's it's again kickstarted, and it will surely kickstart a huge capex in the private sector as well. Uh, India has a, India has a is a huge growth story in the future. So, you know, I think it's just a matter of time. I don't know whether six months or one year, but it's just a matter of time when this kicks off and there'll be no stopping us after that. Okay. Going forward now, 2023 seems to be a year that we continue to have uh, the macroeconomic instability that we saw begin last year, right? In such a situation, uh, what would be your key, that one key valuable advice that you would give other leaders in finance? Uh, you know, so, so I, I think two perspectives to this. One is definitely the fact that, yes, it's been unstable, but if you look at, relatively speaking, India has done much better than anybody else from all other economies in the world, whether it's growth, whether it's inflation, whether it's stability, I think India has done much better. The second thing is, uh, you know, I think these, these kind of adversities or these kind of, uh, this time gives, creates opportunities. I think instead of trying to sit back and trying to play safe, I think this is the time for CFOs and the finance team to look for opportunities as to what, how they can add value, what growth, they, what investment they can make now that will help them the next level of growth. So I think it's, it's, it's an opportunity, I guess, more than uh, adversity, frankly. Okay. Uh, speaking of instability, last question. No, as I said, GDP for India is still among the best in the world. They are the highest among all our peers. The world is so integrated that you know you can't really de you know, completely detach yourself from what's happening outside. So I think what we are doing is is stupendous. For the 4.4 percent real growth is very very good. Uh, again, as I said, you know this is a time where you have to find opportunities and you have to take th make those investments, have that belief, so that you can make those investments and and take on the growth in the next phase. Thank you. Thank you.